Hi, I'm Sean Weary with Siddons Martin Emergency Group. Today we're going to be taking a look at this uh, Velocity 107 single axle ascendant ladder that was sold recently to the city of Leon Valley by our sales representative, Ryan Crady. This truck is on a Velocity cabin chassis. The cab electrical system is command zone. Uh, we also have the command zone uh, screen inside the cab. We of course have a TAC4 independent front suspension. The cab is 70 inches long from the center hub of the front wheel to the rear wall of the cab. It also features a notched 10 inch raised roof. The department elected to have exterior access and interior access cabinets. They can store EMS equipment or turnout gear or whatever supplies they may need in the future. Uh, the seats in the front are USSC Valor P1A Air Ride. Uh, for the driver and officer and then in the back we have that same ussc valor seat in the scba configuration the two outside seats being flipped down the center seat being fixed uh, so it gives us nice room across the rear wall for the firefighters to get ready as they're responding to an incident uh, but also keeps them nice and safely restrained inside the cab as well One of the unique things that they did was added additional storage behind the crew cab area. So we have a space here that they can have transverse long handled tool storage, as well as space for an, a fire extinguisher or any other portable extinguisher or other equipment that may need in the future. We have a 52 inch pump house that's a command zone layout. So it's nicely organized on the outside, makes it nice and ergonomic for the firefighters. We have three cross lays, two inch and a half with top plumbing and we have a, a two and a half also. Uh, those outlets will hold 150, oh, I'm sorry, 200 feet of pre-connected line in a poly tray. And uh, that's set up more like a speed lay. We actually raise the side sheet in that cargo area. So it gives it the, the effect of a speed lay, but it's actually a cross lay mounted with those poly trays. We have a 500 gallon water tank, 25 gallons of class A foam with a Husky 12 foam system. Uh, the fire pump is a water CSU 2000 GPM pump single stage pump. Our body is a single axle ladder, uh, fairly standard configuration. The department did do something unique on the RS1 compartment. That's the right side compartment in the very rear. Uh, they elected to have a single step on the left side, omit the step on the right side, and they elected to have a larger compartment in that area for storage of whether it's extrication tools or little, little giant ladders or any other tools and equipment they may need in the future that are larger in size. We have a larger cabinet that can accommodate that. On the rear of the apparatus, the department elected to have a swing out, fold down camper style ladder. Uh, they have that on the left side and the right side. Uh, for those of us that aren't as tall as some of the other guys, uh, this makes it really nice to access the hose or other tools and equipment that may be installed higher on the apparatus. Uh, echoing the rest of the scene lighting, we have Hi-Viz Guardian Elite Juniors on the back, uh, Hi-Viz Guardian Elites on the cab, and then Guardian, I'm sorry, FireTech Bars 46s on the sides of the apparatus. In this compartment, the RS1 compartment, the department elected to omit the right side access stairs to the turntable and have one compartment that would hold more tools and equipment. So as you can see, we have a very large compartment. This can store extrication equipment, uh, a large little giant, a Model 17 typically fits in this, in this location, uh, but gives them room to grow in the future if and when they start carrying uh, e-tools or any other uh, larger extrication tools, this is a great compartment for that. The Ascendant single axle ladder has one pair of stabilizers, one on the left and one on the right, and a single downrigger in the rear. Makes it very easy to spot this apparatus because you don't have to worry about a front set of stabilizers and a rear set of stabilizers. You just need to make room for your left and right side stabilizers. These go out and down, and then we have a single stabilizer centered in the rear of the apparatus that stabilizes the rear. So that makes it very stable, but also very easy to spot. Uh, with the overall size and the single rear axle, the truck drives more like a long pumper than it does a larger aerial device. On the right side pump panel, the department installed a hose tray with uh, retention for that hose for their uh, 
soft suction that they carry 100% uh, of the time right here in this location. So it gives them a, a quick jump off point to make a quick connection to a hydrant or tie into another apparatus. On the rear wall of the apparatus, we have three USSC Valor SCBA seats forward facing, and we have a left side and a right side rear facing EMS cabinet. Those are great for storing bunker gear or medical equipment. The department also installed angled handrails for ease of access getting in and out of the apparatus. The officer seat is a USSC Valor P1A air ride with the SCBA back. We did a few things a little different here uh, to make it a little more ergonomic for the officer. We've got all of their controls for the audibles easily accessible at their left hand, as well as a secondary air brake. And we all have also recessed the dash to give a better view. And also once they install their mobile data terminal, that'll give them some increased space for that piece of equipment. Uh, the officer also has a flashlight easily accessible and available to him at the entry to his door. The 107 foot ascendant aerial single axle ladder is rated at 750 pounds dry, 500 pounds wet, and this individual ladder was rated at 50 mile per hour wind rating. The aerial device has a vertical reach of 170 feet and a horizontal reach of 100 feet, all with one pair of stabilizers and a single monopod downrigger in the rear.